Hey guys, Lisa here. Thanks for tuning in. So today's video is going to be on a smoky dramatic eye. So it's the look that you're seeing now. Um, I think, you know, in terms of most requested looks, it's funny because I get, you know, kind of an everyday effortless look, which is what I did last time. Um, and then I get the polar opposite, which is a very smoky dramatic look. Um, so I thought that it'd be fun to do, to kind of start my channel with those two videos. Um, you know, one thing I wanted to say about smoky is, um, you know, smoky is more of a technique than a color. So don't think that you're just limited to like the slate or, or smoky kind of gray, dark black shades for the for a smoky eye. I mean, you really can mix, mix and match. I mean, if you want to rock out a plum smoky eye or a navy smoky eye or a bronze smoky eye, um, once you master the technique, um, it's, it's really just kind of swapping out shades at that point. So um, I'm going to go with kind of the traditional, you know, dark, slight gray tone shades today because um, I think it's a fun way to kind of learn. But, um, you know, play around because, when, like I said, smoky is more of a technique. So once you kind of learn it, you can have a lot of fun with your eye makeup. Um, so this look is definitely going to be a little more time intensive than the last one. Actually, it's not. It's going to be a lot more time intensive than the last look. Um, there's going to be a lot more products. Of course, you know, you can skip products if it's, if it's something that you um, don't have or, or don't care to, to get. But um, I kind of went all out for this look. So I did a lot of extra steps, had a lot of fun with it. So I hope you enjoy it. I um, hope you enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy doing it. So. Um, if you want to learn how to keep, get this look, just keep watching. Thanks. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to go in with a little Laura Mercier Foundation Primer in Radiance. And I'm just using my fingers to apply this all over my skin. I've already used moisturizer and eye cream. Um, this is a great product that kind of gives a nice glow to the skin. The foundation I'm going to be working with is super matte and offers full coverage so I thought this would be a nice step to just kind of give my skin a little life. Next I'm going to go in with my concealer which is the Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer. Um, I mentioned this in my last video. I love this concealer especially if you're like me and you're starting to see those little fine dreaded lines under the eyes. You want something really creamy and emollient. You don't want anything really drying or matte. Um, a little bit of this goes a really long way so if you pick this up and you put some and you think it's just too heavy, chances are you're putting too much. Next I'm going to go in with my foundation which is the Estee Lauder Maximum Coverage in Double Wear um, and I am going to mix this with a little bit of the primer. Um, this foundation is great. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for every day though. It's, it's extremely matte and extremely full coverage so it can look very heavy. Uh, mixing it with the primer will help a little bit with that. It'll kind of sheer it out. I'm also using a 187 brush to apply this versus the Beauty Blender, which is what I used last time. Um, I like this brush a lot. It's by MAC. It's number 187. And when you pick it up in the store, you'll notice that the fibers at the very tip of it are really um, soft and kind of um, soft and fluffy. But then about half an inch down, they, it has some very thick, dense fibers. So if you want a lot of coverage from whatever you're applying, you would just kind of press it against the skin firmly so that you're using those dense fibers to get that coverage. But if you want to blend or sheer product out like I want to do here, you can just kind of work with the end of the brush. Next I'm just going to set everything with the Prep and Prime uh, translucent pressed powder and I'm using a big fluffy powder brush to apply this. So now I'm just filling in my brows and I'm using the MAC Lingering Brow Pencil, my favorite. I'm just following the natural shape of my brows. Um, you know, for my brows I kind of just like a nice soft but enhanced look. Um, and then I'm setting it with the MAC Brow Set in Beguile. And this is a product that I love and you'll hear me use and talk about all the time. It's the Shadow Insurance um, Eye Primer by Too Faced. And I'm just using my finger to apply it. Um, I love this primer because it's really sheer. Um, it's clear so it's not going to alter the color of your shadow. Um, and it doesn't dry super fast. That's another thing. When you're searching for an eye primer, make sure that it doesn't dry extremely fast. Because once it dries, you kind of lose that benefit of, you know, letting it grab your shadow when you go when you go on to apply your shadow. So you want something that's going to give you some time to work. 
Um, what I just applied then was my brow highlight. It's MAC Dazzle Light, um, and I used a 275 brush by MAC. Um, now I'm going in for my inner corner color. Um, this is an eyeshadow by Stila. It's called Cloud, and it is um, a really rich, pigmented, kind of icy gray color. It's got a high shimmer, so it's really pretty and reflective. Um, and it's really pigmented, so it just gives a nice impact on the skin. Now I am packing on my smoky color, which is a color by a brand called Inglot. Um, and the color, I believe, is Pearl 435. This is probably my favorite smoky color. I love this color. It's just a nice, pretty slate. It's, it's rich and dark, but it's not super harsh like black. Um, it's got some taupey undertones and purples to it, so it's really pretty with green or blue eyes. Um, if you have any green or gold in your eyes, if you, even if you have brown eyes with a little green or gold tones to them, this is really going to just make that pop and stand out. Now you can see my crease isn't really nice and pretty. I'm going to go in here in a second and just kind of blend that out. I'm using a 224 brush by MAC. Now I'm going in with my transition or my crease color and I'm using a color by Makeup Forever, number 164. Um, basically it's just a brown matte shade that's a few shades darker than my skin tone. I think every woman should have one of these and her vanity. Um, regardless of what colors you're using on your lid, having a matte shade that's a few shades darker than your skin tone and using it in your crease will always help you have like a really nice pretty blended eye versus having you know a really harsh crease that doesn't quite transition or blend well into the brow. Here we go, eyeliner. Um, this is probably my favorite black eyeliner. It's an eyeliner by Laura Mercier. It's a cake liner, which means it's, um, you know, you have to wet the brush to use it. Um, and it's called Black Ebony. So I'm using an eyeliner brush by MAC. Actually, it's technically a lip liner brush. It's the brush 311. I'm gonna be applying false lashes in this look, so it's really important to have that liner there. So this product is a highlighter. Um, it's by MAC, it's called Emphasize, and it's basically, it looks white when you pick it up, um, and you might only be able to order this online. I think it might be a pro product only, but it's white and it has some really light reflective qualities to it. It's not super iridescent, um, so it looks really nice under the eyes, but it's just gonna really brighten up that under eye area. Now I'm applying my false lashes, and I'll do a video on this later with more specifics on false lashes, but I basically like to just squeeze a little glue onto um, my hand and then use something really fine, like a, you know, the tip of a pen or, or the side of a Q-tip, um, and apply the glue on the strip. And I kind of wave it around and blow on it for like 30 seconds because you want that glue to get a little tacky. Um, if the glue is super wet, when you go on to apply the lash, it's just likely going to slide around your eye and make a big mess. So you want to kind of, you know, allow it some time to, to get a little sticky so that when you put it on, it really adheres nicely to where you want it. And I'm just kind of squeezing my natural lashes with the strip lashes so that they're really um, you know, blended well together and you don't see the separation. So these are number fours by MAC, which are great, but there's also some really pretty styles that you can pick up at the drugstore. Um, Ardell has a really nice variety of like pretty glamorous lashes without being, you know, crazy looking. the my natural or I shouldn't say natural I have lash extensions but you know combining and brushing my lash extensions with the strip lashes okay contour time 
Uh, I'm using NARS Laguna Bronzer with my Kabuki fan brush from Crown Brushes and I want a heavy um, cut contour there. Um, I am about eight months pregnant and I need some extra, some extra love there. Um, I like this brush because it really just helps, you know, just get the bronzer exactly where I want it. It helps me just get a nice, easy contour. Um, and it's a good size, so it works great on the cheeks. It works great on, like, around the hairline or nose. And I'm just going back in and touching up my highlight with the uh, Emphasize from MAC. So that product that I just held up is the Laura Mercier Illuminator Powder. And this might have been seasonal. I bought this maybe a year ago around ho the holiday time, but I love it. It's such a pretty highlight. Um, it's super iridescent, but it's really... Um, fine so that it doesn't look super glittery on the skin it just gives like a almost such like a glow from within um, the blush I used was NARS luster blush it's a great uh, blush for every day you could actually skip bronzer and just do blush um, I line the inner rim of my eye with MAC uh, I'm drawing a blank with a MAC white eyeliner um, just to kind of open up and brighten my eyes and then under my eyes I use the Stila waterproof eyeliner um, in black and then I'm taking the shadow by Inglot that I used on my eyelid and I'm just kind of going over that liner to soften it and give it a smoky effect and after I do that I'm going to take the color that I used on my crease that makeup forever transition color and I'm going to go even over the Inglot shadow to even soften it a bit more and a little bottom mascara of course And now it's time for lips. So I'm using the NYX uh, Retractable Lip Pencil in Nectar. And I talked about these before, but I um, really love the wearability, so feel free to fill your lips in with these. Um, <clears throat> doing that is gonna keep your color on all day. So even after your lipstick or your lip gloss fades, you're gonna have that lasting color from the liner. Um, and I'm using a really nude lipstick. It's called Naked Dolly by Too Faced. I really like this color for a smoky eye. You know, when you're doing a smoky eye, you want the focus to be on your eyes, and so I like to keep the lips a little softer. And then I just finished with a little bit of MAC Oyster Girl lip gloss. <clears throat> and there you have it. There's a nice, wearable, but glamorous smoky eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.